what adjective would you like to use about the current situation in terms of your feeling towards it? I don't think you can throw just one adjective in, in, into it really and, and that tell you the whole story. I mean, of course, we, we are where we are and we've got to get out of that situation. There's, there's been reasons, uh, there's been excuses if you like you know we've been unlucky with a, a few things but you know we can't cry over that we, we've got to make sure that we turn it around in the second half of the season um, which I'm pretty sure we will um, and uh, and that's really all we've got to do so um, we've still got three games before it becomes exactly half the season is that right three games yeah three games um, and if we can you know, pick up some points in those three games then uh, and we can come out of Christmas unscathed, then uh, it might look a, a bit better for the the new uh, the new look or the new. It's not a new regime, <laughs> it's, but it's a new half a season. That's what it is. So, um, and then we can look forward to that and get our heads down and get going. I think it was Gary Player who said, "The harder the harder you work, the luckier you get." I've not heard a single gripe from anybody about the attitude of your players. No, um, they're, 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 I've got no gripe about the attitude of the players. I've got a fantastic group of players. It's just to win football matches at any level, you have to have a, a squad that's strong enough to compete. Unfortunately, we haven't had that squad of players to compete at the other end of the table. Um, and that's why we've got to work very hard in the coming couple of weeks to make sure we're stronger as a squad going into the second half of the season. I think it was after Cambridge that you said, I know what I need. I suppose the sub-question to that is, is it attractable to Cheltenham when you're at the wrong end of the table as opposed to being at the right end, which you were last year? It's not easy. It's not going to be as easy as if you were at the top of the table. But then, then we want... The people that do want to come here, are presumably, are going to realise that there's a fight on, certainly early doors. And they're the ones that you want. They're the ones that are happy to um, be involved in that competition, that fight, if you like. And uh, and that's so they're the players I'm, I'll be happy to sign. And some, of course, if they already know me and I already know them, that's uh, that's a, could be a plus. Um, but nothing sorted yet. I mean, everybody keeps their options open anyway, including managers, but the players do. Um, these boys have still got three, three games or so before we, uh, we have to make those sort of big decisions on you know who's going to get enough games to hang around, who's not, and uh, so there's some big decisions to to be had. But we we've, we've been working hard, and I've seen, uh, might see in my eyes. I've I've been to lots of games this week, um, sometimes two a day. There's an afternoon game and come training so we, we're putting in the work in and my staff have been out as well looking at lots of games so we've got a, we've got a good idea we've got a short list of uh, who we want to make a bit of a play for for the second week running you're playing a side who are basically stronger away from home than they are at home but you're playing more come on their own patch where until yeah. last week they'd lost seven in a row had they yeah well yeah they they started off very well they was up there and uh, as you say the, this Bad run has put them. Uh, I think uh, we we can get ourselves within a couple of points of them. But uh, yeah, I mean uh, they're like all teams in this league, inconsistent. Except the, the, the lads that are already at the top there that are staying pretty consistent. They've got strong squads. But um, you know, people have talked about money problems there and all that sort of stuff. And uh, um, I don't know whether that's affected them at all. That's never helps that sort of uh, talk, but um, he's a good manager, uh, Jim Bentley, and uh, he'll keep them competitive for as long as he can. And we've got to make sure that uh, we're competitive when we go up there because they're a strong, strong team, a sort of manly team, if you like. And uh, and we've got to go there and produce a result. James Jennings is there, obviously. Have you had a chat with Jim about what might happen beyond the, the, the end of the, the loan that's up at the beginning of January? Yeah, no, we haven't. Um, but obviously, when I'm up there, we'll, we'll have a chat, see what he thinks, and uh, 
you know, we, we, we both probably spoke to respective agents and things like that, so we, we, we sort of more or less know what, what might happen. Um, so then, you know, we'll just have a little chat and see, see what they want to do. Did you learn anything from whoever went to the game at Newport last week, which was called off at half time? Um, <laughs> well, yes, we did. Um, I think they got a couple of suspensions uh, from them, a couple that might be on the injury list. So we keep try and keep a check on who they might play. And uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll be as ready as we need to be. I mean, they played, what was it, 60 minutes, 70 minutes or so. Um, uh, what you did learn, it was better to have played on their pitch when we did than uh, during this period of time. From your point of view, are you picking from a fairly full group? Um, no, uh, it's certainly not a fairly full group, but uh, just before I come up here, Gav Crow tried to stop me and uh, I walked straight past, ignored him, because I don't want to know yet. <laughs> um, I don't want to come in here and be miserable and uh, him tell me that there's three players that are unavailable or something, but uh, anyway, we'll see when I come out exactly who we're choosing from. Just lastly... It is not quite as congested a Christmas programme this year um, because there, there is a game on the Boxing Day and you play on the 30th. Is that good news for a manager that it's not quite as tightly packed? But it's always good news when games are not tightly packed if you've got a small squad, which we have, and then you get a couple of injuries and then all of a sudden you're, you're, you're down to sort of like quite a few of your young lads filling the bench sort of thing, you know. And, um, although a couple of them are doing okay, so uh, no, it's a, when it's a thin squad, you you don't mind the gaps in between. But we've we've still got the Leicester game to come, and if you get through that, then obviously, which we'd love to, uh, you've got the Bradford game that then comes in pretty quickly if you can get through the Leicester game. Uh, we've got to fit in the Luton game as well because that's not happening on the on the seventh of January. But um, that's a Saturday. So where do we stick in a game there? We're just talking about it now. If anyone wants to play us. Uh, Leicester are saying they can't play on that date. I don't think they want to play us, you know. Can't be, <laughs> can't be scared, sure. Um, no, I think they've got something that they're doing with their team. Um, so uh, early January, if you have got a gap, it would be good to infiltrate, infiltrate. You know, is that the right word to bring in? Your, uh, your new players and integrate, integrate, not in your track. Um, see, you didn't help me. All these bods are out here. Like, <laughs> if the people could see the people. The cow is right there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you see, your, your one brain is better than our four put together. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> anyway, I think I've answered it. Yeah.